So I took some notes. I want to be fair about what was said, and I want to be fair about what wasn't said. You know me. I sit on councils in this community. I organize in this community. I was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. This is my community. So when there are certain statements made and certain statements that refuse to be made, I hear both loud and clear. I hear both loud and clear. I am asking you, as a member of your community, to be precise with your language. Palestinians do not die. They were killed. That distinction is important. It is important to know the difference between an active and a passive voice when speaking about the members of your community, because that's who they are. The second thing is that it is clear to everyone in this room that the Israeli occupation is the root cause of the problem. Please, when you are honest about our pain, that's where you need to lay, point your fingers. It is not just about death. It is about the root cause of the problem. That is the source of the pain. I appreciate, I really do appreciate being listened to. And I know that this probably wasn't what you were expecting today. But the people in this room don't need to be listened to anymore. They don't need to educate anymore. We've been educating people on this our entire lives. I am proud, I am proud to be part of a community that city council is representative of its constituents. But in order to be truly representative, you need to be representative of us too. You need to be representative of us too. So look around, I'm not interested in oppression Olympics. Respectfully, I'm not interested in that. Look around, Palestine is the litmus test. Palestine is the deciding factor about whether or not you can call out oppression, even when it's scary. Palestine is the litmus test. It always has been the litmus test. And secondly, all due respect, Councilwoman, all due respect. People don't look to TikTok to learn. They look to their leadership. And I'm a leader, I'm a leader in this community. And I know that the statements I make have impacts on the government monies that go to the organizations that I sit on and I'm making these statements anyway. So that's what leadership is. That's what leadership looks like. And I need you to understand, Shayla Favor, that we hear your condemnation. And I appreciate your condemnation. And I'm hopeful that due to the fact of your condemnation, because a lot of people in this room have asked very specifically to sit down and have meetings. And they want to have those meetings and they want to know how they can facilitate having those meetings. So those meetings need to be had. The conversations need to be open. It cannot just be dialogue. I have been organizing in this community for as long as I can remember, dialogue is just a fancy way of saying there are two sides to every story. And there is nothing more unequivocally wrong than Israeli genocide. Israeli occupation and Israeli genocide. I know you all. I know you support the initiatives of this community. I know that when it has come time to speak out against oppression that you have done so. And I'm asking you to be courageous, and I'm asking you to be brave, because it is not going to be kindly in the, the, the course of history if the only people who are standing out against oppression were born in 2001. That can't be the case. I have been threatened in the past eight days due to my Palestinian identity. I have been threatened for the fact that I wear hijab. I have been in these streets, in this place, in my home, where my city council is supposed to speak for me, where I used to sit on the mayor's commission. I sat on the mayor's commission in 2000 and so, when... I have been part of local politics and organizing for as long as I can remember. And it is shameful, it is shameful when these, these statements are made without consideration of the people who do vote for you. The people who want to see this space remain diverse. The people who want to see Columbus remain, remain a city that we can be proud to call home. 
but unless you point to the root cause of our pain, which is the Israeli occupation of Palestine, that is the root cause of our pain. And I guarantee you, we're young, we're loud, we're energized, it's not going away. It's not going away. Israel has been allowed to exist and it's a finite amount of time. Nothing, nothing about this conflict is forever. And we know that because Palestinians are never going to cease to exist. And so long as there is one Palestinian, there's gonna be one voice in your face. So I appreciate you restructuring your meeting. I appreciate you taking the time to listen. But I hope that you understand that it is not enough to dialogue, to have a conversation. That's places to start. But you need to be unequivocal about what you're asking for. Because if you're not unequivocal, you're telling everybody who looks like me, who believes like me, who comes from a country like me, that we're not who you represent. Thank you.